First, unbox your transporter. You should have the transporter, its power supply, an ethernet cable, and a quick start guide. If you purchased your transporter and hard drive separately, consult the quick start guide for how to install the hard drive and then install the drive. Now connect transporter to your router and plug in the power supply. Even if you want to use Wi-Fi instead of an ethernet cable, you must first configure it with an ethernet cable as shown in this video. Then consult the knowledge base for how to configure transporter for Wi-Fi. It could take up to 10 minutes for transporter to boot up the first time. During this time, it will automatically format the drive and check for and install any available firmware updates. The status ring will flash green while it does this. When transporter is ready, it shows a solid blue ring. Now you need to create an account to set up and use your transporter. Enter go.filetransporter.com forward slash welcome in your browser. You will see this screen to sign up for a transporter account. Enter your first and last name. Select a username for your account. The username must be between 5 and 32 alphanumeric characters in length. Please note that if someone has already taken the username you entered, that you will get an alert and be asked to select a different one. Then enter your email address and a password, which also must be between 5 and 32 characters. Type the word displayed in the image. You must first agree to the terms of service and software license agreement in order to use Transporter. Please review them and then click the box to agree. Now click Sign Up. After your account is created, you will see this screen. The icons on the left-hand side take you to pages to manage different aspects of using Transporter. Click Next. By this time, you should have received an email at the address you used when creating your account. Check for it, copy the confirmation code, and paste it into the form shown here. Click Next. The website will validate the confirmation code you entered against its records. If they match, an overlay will say Success. You can now start to use Transporter. Click Next. After your transporter finishes its power on sequence, it will check in with the connected data website. You will see its serial number on this page. If you have several new transporter devices, they will all appear in this list. Check only the transporter devices you want to claim for your account. The word claim is used to associate one or more transporter devices to use and control by your account. Click Next. The connected desktop app will automatically start to download. Note that if you have turned off Java in your web browser, the automatic download will not happen. Please wait for the download to complete, then click Next. If you turn off Java in your browser, you will need to manually download the connected desktop software. Exit the setup wizard by hitting the Next button until it closes. You can download the software by clicking the icon for Desktop Software on the left-hand side. A version of the connected desktop app for either Windows or OS X downloads as appropriate for your computer. Follow the instructions and install the app. Click Next. This screen is a reminder to open the connected desktop app and to enter your username and password so that it can connect to your transporter. You will use the connected desktop app to control how your computer works with Transporter. Please watch the companion video on this topic. You will use the website to create folders and invite friends. Let's see how. Click Done. The website will automatically take you to the Files page. This is the same place as clicking the top icon on the left. By default, three folders are created for you named Documents, Home Movies, and Photos. Let's create a new folder. Click the plus new icon on the upper right. The website will display this form. Enter a name for the new folder that you want to create. By default, the option for Host Access for Users Without Transporters is active. This lets you share folders with users who don't own transporters. If you don't want to share this way, uncheck this option. Please note that once you make a choice, it cannot be changed. For more information on sharing with people who don't own a transporter, consult the companion video on this topic. Then click Submit to create the folder. The website then displays this status overview page. Within a minute, a new folder is created on your transporter. The left column lists how many transporter devices that have this folder copied to them. In the middle column, under the folder icon, is information showing how much data is stored in the folder, who owns the folder, and onto how many transporters the folder is copied. The column on the right lists how many people are sharing the folder. As you use Transporter and invite friends and colleagues to share folders, 
The information will be updated every time you come back to this webpage.